You've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. We are here to encourage you in the words so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. We are going to worship the Lord with David in the Bible in Psalms 103. It says a Psalm of David. As I read this, make it part of your worship to the Lord as well. Think of the words, think of God's grace and mercy on your life, you know, on, on my life. His abundance of mercy toward people is so far our understanding. When you think of how great and mighty He is, and yet how He cares for each one of us individually, what He's done for us, what He continues to do. Psalms 103 reads like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives us all your iniquities. Think about that. The Lord forgives our iniquities. When we ask the Lord to forgive us, it's God. People may remember it, but as far as the Lord is concerned, it is God. He knows our hearts. It says, Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Think of that. God crowns us with his loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, praise God, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. So far as, as excuse me, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. I say that so often. As far as the east is from the west, they're gone. The, you, when you've asked for forgiveness for something and you've meant it from your heart, that is gone. It doesn't matter how many people remember it. It doesn't matter how much you remember it. As far as the Lord is concerned, it's gone because of what Jesus Christ did for us on Calvary. It goes on and says, For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are of dust. The Lord knows that we are in this body made of dust. But we have the breath of life inside. We have his life in us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field. So he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone. And its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. And his righteousness to children's children. To such as keep his covenant. And to those who remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. And his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, you, his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, all his hosts, you who ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Psalms 119, where it talks there, bless the Lord all his works. You know, creation declares the glory of the Lord. Psalms 119, 1 through 4 says this, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. 
Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. That is why man is without excuse, because the heaven themselves declare the glory of God. The heavens declare that there is a creator. It says, their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare that there is a mighty creator. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came down for you, for your salvation, for me, for my salvation, for mankind. Now, mankind has a choice of accepting what Jesus Christ did and making him Lord of Lords or worshiping this world instead and then having to stand before a holy God unholy unrighteous and being sent to damnation not because God wanted it but because they chose to follow this world rather than follow the Lord God Almighty who loves them so dearly for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God came into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might have life. So make up your mind that you're going to keep a praise song in your heart and you're going to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.